Hey, what's going on, Starborn? Today I'm going to show you how to easily defeat the 10th floor of the secret dungeon in Throne and Liberty. Now, if this is the first time you're hearing about this and you may be wondering how you even get here, you're going to press escape or whatever button allows you to actually see this pop up menu over here. And then you're going to go over here to secret dungeon. So go ahead, click on that. And then again, we are going to be doing the 10th floor. But if you may be stuck on the 9th floor right now, my best advice for this guy is because he does a lot of ranged attacks. Don't be too far away from him because then he'll just keep spamming them But also make sure that you're not morphing a ton in the fight and using up all your stamina Because he will spam you with a ton of parryable attacks and you need to parry those Otherwise, you'll be taking unnecessary damage. So hopefully that helps you But now let's get back to floor 10 You're gonna get some purple enchanting materials health potions and gold from this But also you are gonna get a really cool morph stone the velvet raven All right So here we are with the oblivion skeleton commander and there are three main moves that you want to watch out for when fighting this guy the first first one is a jump ability so he will jump up into the air and then crash down and if you don't jump before he lands then he will actually knock you down and sometimes he will actually pair this with the second ability that we're going to talk about here in just a second but this is going to not only damage you but it's also going to stun you now for the second move if he does this right after each other he is going to then pull his sword like into the middle of his chest charge it up and then he's going to slam it into the ground and it's going to create this big old aoe if you are too close to him especially if if you are stunned right after that jump attack, this will most likely one shot you. So the way that you get away from this, at least the way that I found worked the best for me was turning into my morph and then running to the exact opposite side of the arena. And you are still going to take damage, but it's not going to one shot you. And now the final move that he is going to do is actually a parryable move. You have about a half second to parry this, but if you don't parry this, he's going to dash into you and then he's going to stun you. And he does this a lot. So really be on the lookout for those parries all right and now with all that said let's get them so i'm gonna really try to work on my parries because i'm definitely not the best with my parries as it stands right now i gotta get a lot better about that so after that we have a, a very short time yep there it is i have a very short time to get that one i'm gonna jump that which unfortunately i did not he's gonna do it again there we go okay there we go. Slingshot that damage back. He's going to get me there. There's his little projectiles. And he does also have a pool. That is important to mention. If you are too far away, he will literally try to pool you. Oh, boy. Really got to work on those parries. Jump. There we go. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no, you ain't getting me that time. No, sir. Not that time. You teleporting now, sir? What are you doing? Okay. Jump. Now, here comes that. So we're going to run. It did not wipe us. Only took a little bit of damage from it. There we go. Slingshot that back. Oh, unfortunately. I was hanging on to the other one when he did the... The next parable attack. Here we go. Jump. He's going to do that again. So we're going to run as far as we can. All right. And just like so. Then you want to move back a little bit. But there you go. Now floor 10 is complete. Your time is incredibly valuable. So thank you very much for watching me explain and demonstrate how to get through this 10th floor with a brief explanation on how to get through the 9th floor. But that's all I got for this one. So I will catch you in the next Throne and Liberty Guide. Have an awesome rest of your day, Starborn.